Hello, welcome to Card Minds. Thank you for stopping by. This is going to be a Taurus weekly money and career reading from February the 29th to March the 6th, 2022. Let's see what career energies, Taurus, we have coming in this first week of March. I can't believe we are in March already. These are recent weekly money and career readings. Uh, I am posting every Sunday. So if this is something that you enjoy, please comment down below. Let me know what your journey is all about. And uh, let me know if you connect with these energies and you would like to see more of this type of reading. Don't forget to subscribe. Here we go. Wow. Cancer. Uh, cancer sorry. Taurus. I just did a cancer reading. That's why. Taurus. Taurus. The fool. This is it. New beginning. You, you believe in this. This is a passion. This is something that's bringing in money. This is something you wanted to do and you connect with. It's passionate, passionate. What is this? This is, um, this can be a project of yours. This can be a job that you, you know, really connect with. And um, uh, this is a passion of yours, a talent that you have and that you're, you're fully and expressing your, you're fully expressing yourself definitely on, on this new, new, completely new um, endeavor for sure, for sure. Now, is it something that you have been wanting to do for a while? Um, I don't know, but you're definitely, um, this is a goal that you're reaching. This is, I, I really think this is something you've been wanting to do, but you're starting here because the Queen of Pentacles is someone that transforms things into reality, right? That makes things happen, that reaches goals, that figure things out, figures things out. But Taurus, you are like that. You are that maker, that doer, that person that's going to make things happen, find the solutions, think the solutions through, right? But this fool is about um, learning to trust yourself also, Taurus, on this new path. And the universe, it, learning to trust yourself and the universe so that you can listen to your intuition and really have faith in yourself and engage in these new projects, career, jobs, take it as it resonates, business. I don't know what you're starting, right? But engage with life, have faith, push it through. The universe is coming around and, and, and really gifting you with this new, this new path. And I think you have surrendered to the past energies, surrendered to the past desires the past expectancies. And I think that is the lesson of uh, these past few months and, and this beginning of year 2022, where you, all signs have let go of expectancies and have understood that they had to adapt with whatever there was and make do with their inner power, their empowerment and build upon that that the answers were not coming from others, that the answers were not coming from a new wave of something completely different and the sun rising again and, and bringing us all this new to build upon. No, it is us. It is us bringing that sun, that sun and that energy that we're all building upon, but at our personal power, our, per, our empowerment, Right. And that is what we're realizing to build upon our passions, whatever passion you had, whatever passion was inside that talent that you never expressed or that job you wanted to do, that business you wanted to open, that 
YouTube channel you wanted to do, that that thing that you that you're so passionate about. That is what you're pushing for. That is what you're starting here this week. Wow. And you have an offer. So maybe that is it. Maybe you have this offer. It looks like a creative offer. It doesn't have to be. It looks like messages coming in, messages of opportunities, something new, some someone offering you an opportunity. Um, but it's definitely something, it's starting that new path by also believing in yourself again and, and, and trusting the change, just trusting your power of adaptation. Taurus, you like to control. This week is not about control. It's about following that passion and, and accepting to, oh, these are a lot of cards. All right, I'll take them anyway. All right, okay. Um, it, it is about transitioning into this new mode, this new power. You are in transition. I mean, you you have transitions. All signs have shifted to their new powers, to their new energies. Do they always? Do we always know what they're about? No, and we're really discovering on along the way. And again, that's that lesson where we're fully aware now to accept that it, it is within, right? That we are pushing forward and building within. And, and, and that is our solution. That is our power. No one else is coming to save us. And you know that, Taurus. So yes, you're moving, you're transitioning into this new powerful, powerful, passionate, project of yours project career job comment down below let me know what it's all about um but it's it can be also um it can be also a letting go of um preceding toxic ties or toxic patterns you feeling that and i think that's all signs really um, feeling that you were going to go back to something, that you were going to go back to that job or back to that career or back to those bold energies and um, uh, that that passionate career you had. And we're all, we were all going to go back to wherever we belonged, right? Whatever we were doing before, figuring things out and getting that ambition back again, that power back and, and, the, and then pushing forward. Not like that, not like that. So we're all transitioning and adapting to this new and really new um, new way of working and this new us. So uh, you're letting go, I think, also of toxic ties. You're letting do go of those uh, also personal toxic patterns that you had to control that you had to be there and lead and fix and find solutions and but remain 150% in control and make sure you were pushing forward the way you exactly envisioned your vision exactly right and i i believe uh, the reading was a little similar the last time Taurus because you're so obstinate sometimes because you want to keep that control but it's not about control here it's about you understanding now that it's different and you little by little are adapting to this new energy that is given to you this sort of new thing that is given to you that you're unwrapping little by little and uh, you know with curiosity and figuring it that way out to make it work to uh make it work for you right? And, and you are getting offers. Page of Cups, Page of Pentacles, so a, a financial opportunity and um, a, a, a project opportunity, a job opportunity, a business opportunity. Take it as it resonates for you. But you have several opportunities here. And I think that is giving you that, that power of choice, that power, you know, that gives a power of choice, really. If you have several opportunities and you have to choose, it gives you a lot of um, excitement and, and that gives you that energy to push forward because, you know, 
Hopefully these are beautiful offers. I feel like it's two different offers. Doesn't have to be because the Page of Pentacles is also manifesting financial opportunities. It's sort of like a mini, mini magician for me. So they, it can be the same offer. It can be an offer of, um, a message coming in with an offer, uh, uh, you know, uh, um, an artistic project but doesn't have to be but cups are about that sensitivity that the beauty of the world aesthetics right so sometimes i do correlate it with um with uh, artistic projects but it doesn't have to be it can also be something social caring sharing helping other people social justice nurse teacher mentor social worker, something like that, right? So therapist, right? So it can be read different ways, but definitely new offers coming in and new financial offers coming in. Wow. And here we go. There might be an offer of a partnership. Someone wants you to work with them. Maybe someone wants to work, you would work with them on a project teamwork and partnership and also partnership um with someone that you thoroughly connect with that you get they get you uh can be a partner can be a romantic partner and you're partnering up to on a project on a professional project that can be it doesn't have to be um but this is someone you really connect with and connect with and work well with to build on this new project. So maybe this person is asking you to work on something with them and it is rewarding. It is financially rewarding. Queen of Pentacles. The Queen of Pentacles is there. She is, uh, I, this can be you, Taurus, right? Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This can definitely be you reaching your goals and financially reaching your goals with this partnership, with this new dynamic, this new path that you really, really believe in and you really passionately believe in this, Taurus. And three, three of wands, you're working on it, progress forward and you're preparing, you're preparing for this, you're preparing for this Opening, opening, well, I don't know why I'm saying opening. Are you opening a, a shop? Are you opening a business? Are you opening, you know, you can be opening anything, uh, but you're preparing for this. And you, you, you're you opening up to the world as well, right? Three of Wands is uh, waiting, but waiting to embark, preparing to embark, preparing to start, right? Three of Wands is all about, um, you know you're doing this, and now it's just a question of being ready, uh, being on the starting blocks, and preparing, making sure you dot the I's, cross the T's, and you know, you know you're ready to push forward. It is something very interesting and passionate. Comment down below. Let me know exactly what you're working on because you're still working on this. You're working hard on this project, job, career, business, take it as it resonates. And it's, but it's, it's successful. You can see the success on the horizon and you have the page of pentacles. So you're expanding, you're planning your future and you're really comfortable with this choice, comfortable with this path, this project, this business, whatever it is. And, and it's successful. It's successful. But you really, you can see that it's successful. I mean, you can, you can feel that this was the right choice and this is the right path. Really lovely, lovely reading, uh, Taurus. Let's see if there are other cards that want to come out. Why is the fool here? Why is the fool here? What is this beautiful, passionate project all about? Ah, justice. 
Okay, well, yes, you made a decision for sure. And you made a, de a decision, like a long-term impactful decision, right? The justice is about knowing what's fair, knowing, you know, the importance of the choice you have made and, you know, with the potential long-term impact of this choice, impact on you, impact on your environment, on your family, right? You know that this is impactful, but you know also that it's the right choice. But you probably worked hard at this. You're transitioning. You're transitioning out of maybe toxic ties, toxic job, toxic environment. Uh, careful not to bring too much baggage with you, right? Six of Swords, you are transitioning and you know you're out of there, but you still have a lot of swords there. So you're still working on that. That's that's fine. That's fine. But you you really chose consciously, consciously by connecting with your inner tuition, you, inner, your, your intuition. I can't find my words, right? Justice is about knowing that this is fair, knowing that this is thought out, not knowing that this is impactful on you and your surroundings, and you have to make the right choice. Wow. Ooh. Well, there <laughs> I can see, yes, that you're bossing up. That it was a bold decision. Wow, this is a bold decision. And this is just a weekly reading. So this is a very, very important week. Um, Taurus, wow, wow, wow. Nothing but, but I think this is, um, I think the preceding week was also very, very impactful. Lots of that bold choice you had to make, that life decision or that, you know, that career decision that changes your life and that, you know, not easy because out of your comfort zone, maybe, or maybe a different career, maybe something, something, and, and it has been difficult. There have been obstacles, but you've been strong along the way and you've kept your control, even though it's out of your comfort zone. And sometimes you're like, Oof, is this the way is, should I do this? Because it's big. It's big. I mean, how many major arcana? One, two, three, four, five. Five major arcana. Um, and, and it's really uh, six major arcana. S yeah, six major arcana. Uh, it, it is that moment in time where you accept the new situation. You accept your new power or your new energy which is different from before which you have to adapt and and you were not very comfortable with for the longest time and uh, sort of like Scorpio we're trying to figure things out and really not accepting it and not having it what is this all made of and what do I have to work with here because I don't understand what the answers are and I don't understand what the solutions are and I really don't know what to do well here you have the perfect example of you accepting what is out there for you, accepting what the new what the new rules are of the game, and that you are transforming your life, your career, your job with these new rules, and you know perfectly how to do that. And kudos to you, Taurus, because not everybody knows how to do that. And you are transforming this in such a bold way. Justice and judgment. Making that decision, that long-term decision that is well thought out. It is tricky because it's something that is changing your life. And, and, and not only you, probably, you know, your family. And, and then you have the, the judgment where it is that rebirth. It is something really big. You're rising up. You know you're destined to something else. And you know that even if the cards that you were dealt before were fantastic, well, you don't know, even if you're still in a career, even if you're still in a job, you know that it's not working the same way and that you have to 
uh, build upon different energies, add on. It doesn't mean that you're not doing that anymore. It is. It means that you're making decisions to rise up, be bolder, make more money, expand your career, expand your job, expand your business. This week is a major week because it's because you know you're destined to so much more because you're ready you're ready to act it took you a little time but now you know it's time to act and now you know what 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 is what is out there and how you can transform might not be what you wanted originally and i don't think it's what anybody wanted originally right but you're you're letting go of that old self you're letting go of those old ways you're letting go of those expectations 2022 is all about letting go of those expectations we had where we thought this new world was going to come in and it was going to be new and vibrant or whatever we thought right everybody is different in all corners of the world um letting go of those expectations and then going into stepping into this newer version of yourself and now really uh, adapting and aligning yourself with who you are truly and i think that before the world this world situation uh, we 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 were there we did our job we had our routine we some liked some didn't like their job we we paid the bills and you know we had our daily life now it, it, it is if we're gonna uproot ourselves if we're gonna start from scratch if we are gonna be asked to completely rebuild our career and rethink our lives and realign with something different a completely new energies well we're gonna think bold Taurus, you're going to think bold and you're going to rise up to something completely new. And you're at that crosswords where, you know, any choice, but I think you already did that choice, right? These choice is all these, these decisions are boldly significant in this change and, and, um, trust your alignment, trust your choices because you're there you're there all the pieces are coming together and now this new you this new energy whatever it is is you you're mastering it you got this good for you not everybody got this and you're working hard you're working hard at this Taurus. this is a really interesting reading at at understanding what the circumstances are and understanding how to maneuver and work with what we have and accepting and what we have even though they might not be what we want right accepting to compromise accepting to work differently accepting but not only accepting but now building upon that building upon the new vibrations and the new energies even if we don't like them even if we don't agree, even if we're, we're disappointed, whatever it is, accepting to find those energies and empower these new, this new path with what we have. And make something beautiful out of it. You can do that, Taurus. Taurus, you are a builder. You control and you build and you make things happen and you find solutions. So if anybody can do it, it's you, Taurus. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. I'm taking these. I don't know why I'm taking so many cards. I'm just very curious, Taurus, in your in your project or in this journey, this new journey. So comment down below. Let me know what it's all about for you. Let me know if you connect and let me know if you enjoy these readings, Taurus. So I can put you on that revolving list. Uh, yes, you're 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 celebrating. You're confident. You're leading the way. You're working hard. You're working with people. And look at that. You have that new idea. Um, following your intuition. Following your intuition. Knowing that that's for you. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful reading, uh, Taurus. Uh, I hope apologies for the um, for the the noise. Uh, this is a new idea. This is your path. This is where you belong. You are happy with this, and um, 
this is bringing you joy. It's really bringing you that balance and that happiness back, back. But it is, it, it is with depth, right, that you needed to uh, find that path. New idea, new way, innovative, starting new. Wow, what an amazing reading. Let's see if there's one last message for the road. Taurus, in this Money and Career Weekly reading, please comment down below if it's the first time you are here to uh, see these readings. And let me know if you enjoy them because they're weekly readings every Sunday. Um, let me know if you would like me to continue these weekly readings. Ten of... Ten of Cups, beautiful. Harmony in your home, harmony in, it, it, that is bringing back balance to you and your family and happiness. This new path, whatever you're choosing, that's exciting for you, that's passionate for you, is also uh, bringing back harmony and balance and calm and serenity in your home. Absolutely beautiful, beautiful reading, uh, Taurus. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this reading as much as I did. Please uh, subscribe and hit the bell. That's very important. If you have never watched any of my readings before, thank you. Thank you so much for coming. Uh, welcome, welcome. Uh, and if you have already, uh, thank you so much for commenting and sharing your journeys and supporting this channel. Take care, Taurus. Bye-bye.